Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and we are at the third last part of the sequence of um, opening up the ankle and the foot um, to better improve just daily walking. And so we looked at a lot of ways to improve dorsiflexion and also how to, to um, remind the talus bone of its bone rhythm as we dorsiflex and come to flat butt. And so now we're, we're moving into plantar flexion and reminding the talus of what it should do here, which is an external rotation and an anterior glide. Um, we're also working this intrinsic foot spiral. So when in the push-off phase and gait, um, the foot spirals towards the first ray. And it should really be a strong push-off through this uh, first ray, big toe, that activates our hip extensors as we push off and move forward. You'll notice, especially if you people watch, or you might notice it on yourself, is that a lot of people, as they walk, especially the push off back leg, they um, default into external rotation and kind of push off on the last few toes or their pinky toe or the outside of their foot. And so you're losing all of that um, messaging and ability to strengthen and talk to your leg extensors, like your glutes and your hamstrings, because that's really your power. Your power is that internal rotation and that push off through your first ray. And that really, that, that action, um, pushing the floor away from you, gives you the, the height and the power against gravity. And so this is a really important concept. Also, when you come up into that push-off phase, that immediately um, helps the diaphragm to descend because there's intimate connections between the diaphragm pelvic floor and the structure of the ankle. So lots and lots of reasons why this would be a, a good protocol to help to remind your client of how to naturally use their foot and their ankle. So we have the smart spine in the same position. We're gonna wrap it around her foot. This time, now I don't wanna squish her toes. I want her toes to be longish, but I wanna put the warm smart spine onto the, the top of her foot. So my thumbs are at the top of the smart spine and my fingers are at the bottom of her foot. And so to train this intrinsic foot spiral, I'm tractioning her um, front of her ankle and then I'm just spiraling her towards her first ray. And this is really good. And what I want to see, I mean, at first, you'll see the thigh and the knee and the lower leg turn in. That's OK until they get used to it. But after I've really opened up this area, I want to see if I can really get that intrinsic movement from the ankle and not a lot of movement from the femur or the knee. And the client can be thinking about the weight in the sitting bone. Good, and so what I can also do, and Marie Jose talks about snaking her fingers down the bottom of the foot. So I can start at the ball of the foot, traction, spiral. And I can go down a little bit and traction, spiral and down a little bit, so now I'm more at the bottom of the arch, and traction, spiral. Good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.